Well, not the most ideal lighting for the video or setting. Sorry about that, but I did commit to doing a video every day, and I haven't done one yet today. It's a little dark. I'm here in the parking lot to pick up my daughter for work. She works at Fresh Brothers Pizza and was supposed to be off at 8.30. And then uh, as I pulled into the lot at 8.30, I got a text saying, make it 8.45. So this is something um, those of you with kids as they get older will have to learn how to deal with. Uh, teenagers and uh, time use and time commitments and things like that. Um, it's relatively common for her to do this. So we have a new rule that we instituted actually. I think it was yesterday or the day before that uh, if we show up and the plans have changed, I think this was Friday, um, it'll be $5. So I got to earn $5 today for coming to pick her up. There's a tow truck coming behind me, but they're not for me. Um, this started on um, Friday. My wife came to pick her up at 8 o'clock. And um, the message was, oh, yeah, I'm going to go to the football game now. High school football game after, the, after work. And my wife was like, well, I'm here already. It's like, oh, well, then you can take us to so-and-so's house. And then we'll go to the game. So that's when the rule came in, it was after Friday. And today is Sunday. Since I am doing these videos every day, I'm doing them live, I haven't reused anything old. I, I was tempted. I was looking at my phone thinking it's like, oh, maybe I'll throw out a video with a dog or something like that. Um, but I am doing the videos and this is day 14, I think. So I started on a Monday, so I think this would be day 14. Um, Nothing that interesting or no good message today. Um, since I... Long day. Yesterday. And... Um, just hadn't had time to, to do anything. Yesterday was a whirlwind of a day. Um, just watching cars not have accidents. Um, that guy. Uh, yesterday, our PTA board of managers... Um, I was up at 7 a.m., we had a breakfast, then um, had our meeting. Meeting was over at about 11.15, took a taxi to the airport in, San in Sacramento, had lunch, hung out at the airport for a couple hours, flew home, and then went to my high school reunion. We had a uh, reunion Saturday night at 6 o'clock, and my flight arrived at 4, but my daughter worked at 4. 30 so my wife had to pick her up from rehearsal bring her to work and then come pick me up so she got me a little after five uh, we actually got to the place about 6 15 it was okay since this was a informal um, high school reunion it was an off year um, I'm not gonna tell you what year it was I'm gonna make you guys in the comments guess what year anniversary it was. It was a multiple of five. I'll give you that much. But um, I'm not going to give you anything any other hints. Do some research. It's, it's obvious I tell people what year I graduated high school and college and all that. So you can you can tell if you do your research. But I want you to see if you can take guesses just based on whatever you can guess on. Say what year that is. It's not our fifth, not our tenth, not even our fifteenth. So... Um, I'll make it easy. It's none of those. Not my 50th either. I'm not that old. But um, somewhere in between there. So take a guess. Um, high school reunion was was all right. You know, high school wasn't stressful for me. It wasn't a horrible place. It wasn't a wonderful place. And um, honestly, I only talked to like five or six people out of the 60 or 70 that showed up. Um, one woman that I've known since elementary school, another man that I've known since elementary school, um, and I think the rest of the people were all either high school or middle school plus people that I talked to. But I sort of took, you know, one lap around the room before I left to see, okay, is there anybody else here that I haven't talked to yet that I want to? And I'm looking, saying, it's like, and I think I recognize them. They're football players. We probably crossed paths. Don't know who that is. Don't know who that is. Don't know who that is. And, uh, was happy enough to leave early. Um, in high school, um, 
part of it when I would talk to somebody, it's like, okay, great, we know each other, but what circle was it? How did we know each other? Um, because I was a photographer, so that means I could have known people from journalism or yearbook or the newspaper, but because I was a photographer, I knew most of the football team because I took pictures every Friday at the football games, and I knew the cheerleaders because I was at the football games. And I knew the band people because I was at the football games and I was friends with a lot of the band people. I knew some of the drama people because I had some crossovers there and I took pictures. Then I also had the academic side. So uh, there are people that I might have known because it was um, you know, from AP Physics or from AP English or you know the honors classes or something like that. Or they're just people that I've just known forever because they came up from elementary school on. So some of it was kind of guessing. It's like, where did I know you from? Um, believe it or not, one of the people that I talked to last night that I was friends with in high school that I spent most of my talk time talking to knows somebody from my present life, one of the other parents here in, in Redondo Beach. And that was kind of interesting that there's that crossover there. Um, there are a few other Redondo crossovers, but this guy here, this was sort of something where he mentioned something. It's like, oh, so you know Suzanne. And he says, oh, yeah, of course. So uh, next time I go to the Magic Castle, I'll have to let him know. Um, with that, it's been long enough. Uh, here's my video, and I will see you all soon. Because this video is being posted late on Sunday. And I still got to record one for Monday, tomorrow. And hopefully I do that in the morning and get it over quickly.